All right, today we are going to be doing a GSAP tutorial. And it's a little bit, I wouldn't call it necessarily strange. It's something that you would not expect. And I came up with this from trying a few things, experimenting. And I will explain what I wanted to achieve with it, but what came out of it <laughs> in the end. I think it's still pretty cool and it's kind of like a different take on the marquee. Um, especially if you have a lot of logos that you want to showcase and you don't want them to be just standing there without doing anything inactive. This is kind of like an interesting dynamic movement. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I still think it's pretty cool and you can do this with images as well or you can put whatever you want in this grid because we are going to be using the grid widget. So let's get into it. All right, so this is what we are going to be making. I don't know if you're going to find it useful or not, but to be honest, I rather have this logos moving here and there rather than just sitting flat on the screen so let's see how this is made it's going to be probably a quick video but let's get into it all right we're going to start by adding a container to this page the usual and this container is going to be full width of course this depends on your page structure and what you want to achieve so i'm gonna say minimum height 100 percent justify the content that will be in this container to uh, center center and center so everything is in the center all right so let's add in this container a grid all right and this grid can be full width and let's set it to i would say maybe 50 50 percent so it's kind of like in the center all right and what we want is let's say four columns and two rows so one two three four columns and two rows yeah one two okay now we can justify everything to center in this grid and let's publish and in these containers basically let's go to structure and let's see what we have in the grid we have nothing right so in these spaces that we have created in these columns and rows we are going to be adding the image widget so i'm gonna just click on one and let's style it because we can after this copy paste the same image so we have it the same everywhere right all right so let's also give it a height of a hundred percent and set this to contain of course this depends on uh, what you want to achieve and if you have an image logo whatever all right and that's about it i'm going to start adding my logos i have quite a few here and they will not be added in a particular order so i'm going to duplicate this and continue adding my um, logos until i have filled all uh, all these uh, spaces right so this oops did i just all right um yeah duplicate and replace whoops let's go with twitch duplicate and replace again very 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 random so duplicate and let's add another one see here all right i think we are pretty uh good with how many logos we have another thing that i want to do is set the spacing between the gap between these logos so at the moment there's zero gap so i'm gonna set it to 25. you can go to 50 if you want which gives you more space between logos i don't necessarily like how it looks to be honest uh, i'm gonna set it to 25. and let's unlink this and say this is 50. does it look better hmm. anyway you can play around with this and 
see what works for you. Let's see if we can, if we make it be bigger, if it looks better. Hmm. Okay. Let's leave it like this and let's add our code. So yeah, this is going to be a, a quick one. Oops. It went in the wrong place. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to drag it here. No, I'm going to come on. All right. So I have to copy and paste it here. All right. Delete here. So I'm going to bring in my code. Let me just drop it in here. And I have a missing script at the end. Uh, script. All right. Now it's good. Let's publish and let's see if something or anything happens. And nothing is happening because we need to add some classes on the grid and on each image. So let's go back to our code. And as you can see, we have an ID here. Actually, I did an ID here and we also have a class. So this is the class that goes on the images. Yes. And this is the class that goes on the grid. So let's do that. All right. So let's go to the grid. Go to advanced and go to CSS ID and I'm going to drop it in here. Let's see now what happens. Still nothing. OK, we have to continue adding the logo class on all the images. Otherwise, this will not work. And logo here. And another logo here. And let's publish. And let's have another look. OK, so it's working. It's pretty OK, but I think we need to change some things. All right. So in order for this to be less of um, kind of not a very nice transition between the swap of the logos, I believe that we have to change the size of the image from percentage to pixels. And I can, I will go to 150 and 150 and 150. Yes. And I'm going to copy this style on all the logos and see if this makes a difference from my tests. It does, but I want to show you that uh, sometimes you need to debug your ideas and test a few ideas <laughs> to see which one works best. Uh, this looks pretty good now. It's pretty smooth, but I don't like the very big gap between elements. I also, I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah. So there you go. There you have it. You can add additional, of course, additional logos, make it better. I could let's actually do that. Let's duplicate this and this. Let's see how it looks with even more logos and how it behaves in duplicate. I think we are good. Yeah. OK, so they are repeating uh, not the best, but let's say rows three. Yeah. Let's publish and let's have another look. And if you have something like this, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. It's just me. I kind of I'm a sucker for more dynamic, more interesting, more uh, out of the box thinking when it comes to boring stuff that you would add on a website like a wall of logos, right? Make it cool. <laughs> I wouldn't say interactive because people can't interact with it, but I think it has life. <laughs> yeah. So let me know if you like it and if you're going to use it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.